Welcome to the Varmint V2 Function Guide video. To get started, quickly press the menu button to cycle through the different color palette options. Choose between White Hot, Black Hot, Fusion, and Red Hot. Long press the menu button to activate the main options menu on the Optic. The first setting to adjust is the brightness. This determines how bright the screen on your Optic is. Use the menu button to select and the scroll wheel to adjust the brightness until it suits your preference. Next, adjust the contrast. Contrast adjustments allow a shooter to fine tune the optic to their personal preference and can be tailored based on the environment you will be hunting in. Use the scroll wheel to navigate down the menu to the picture in picture feature. When activated, this feature allows for more precise target acquisition. When picture-in-picture -picture is enabled, the zoom function of the optic applies only to the picture-in-picture -picture area on the screen. The next adjustment we will make is to the color tone of the optic. Choose between cold and warm color palettes based on the environment you will be hunting in. This is another feature that allows the shooter to customize the image. You can also use the scroll wheel to adjust the image sharpness. Cycle through the settings until the image is satisfactory. Sharpness adjustments can be crucial for detecting game, especially in areas with dense vegetation. The Scene Mode feature helps increase visibility based on your environment. Cycle through the options until you find the mode that best suits your surroundings. This can be especially helpful when transitioning from a rural to an urban setting. The zeroing profiles feature allows you to toggle between different zero positions and options. The optic is capable of storing up to 25 different zero coordinates. Each of these zero positions must be created and saved in the zeroing menu section of the optic. The zeroing section of the optic allows you to create zeroing positions and customize the look of the reticle. For a complete guide on this section, refer to the How to Zero video posted on our channel. In that video, we will walk you through choosing a reticle, using the freeze screen feature, and best practices for two-shot zeroing. Long press the menu button to return to the main menu. This optic comes equipped with a ballistic calculator. For an in-depth guide to the ballistic calculator, refer to the How to Set Up a Ballistic Profile video on our channel. The reticle mode feature lets you choose the zoom center. Fixed reticle centers the zoom on the display, while central reticle centers it on the reticle. The laser ranging menu lets you choose the scan duration each time the laser range finder button is pressed. The network menu allows the shooter to activate the Wi-Fi hotspot on the optic. Activating the pre-record feature ensures the optic automatically records 10 seconds before and after a shot. You can also choose to activate audio recording for your optic. If you only want the video, turn off audio recording. When the hot tracking feature is activated, a cross will appear on the hottest part of the screen. This can be useful for detecting game in areas with multiple heat signatures. The function menu allows the shooter to customize various technical aspects of the optic. The OSD or on-screen display menu section allows the shooter to select what information is shown on the display. In the brand logo section, the AGM logo can be toggled on and off. Image calibration determines how often your device refreshes or nukes. It can be done manually or automatically. Dead pixel correction is used to refresh a single pixel that may not be refreshing automatically. Burn prevention helps protect your device from damage. We recommend keeping it turned on. The general settings menu allows the shooter to choose a language, set the time and date using the select button and scroll wheel. The shooter can choose the unit of measure, yards or meters, set an automatic shutoff time for inactivity, the device will automatically shut off if it has not been moved in the set amount of time. You can also restart the device back to factory settings or just reset the device image.
This menu is also where you will access device-specific information. Well, that's it for the Varmint V2 Function Guide. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to reach out to our support team. Stay safe and happy hunting.